and so forth were fine. Just take a game or maybe two, and you'll be fine. Andre Godala squeezing in, and once again at the double overtime, had 34, but Steve in that game, he was not afraid to take the big shots, and he hit them. The halftime at 17. On here as his Cavaliers look to break a two-game losing streak. Good defense by the Sixers. Iguodala leads the parade, and he heaves it down. I'm thinking Mike Brown's going to want a timeout now as the Sixers ends, but slams at the other end. First, Carney, then Iguodala. Sixers by 11. We'll take a timeout. The 76ers with six fast break points, doubling up. 24 threes, which is the most on the Cavs team. It's about 39.5%. Andre Iguodala from the outside, his second field goal. Here are the Sixers now out of the timeout. The Cavaliers on a bit of a run. That's a well-conceived play as Miller was wide open. And Andre Iguodala, the terrific passer that he is, his second assist off the Marshall feed. So this is a nice play right here. You've got the screen up, dribble handoff screen, and then coming baseline is Andre Miller. Iguodala ripped that away. The Sixers up 10. Oh, down of there runs the floor, and again, there you got a guy who's at least near seven feet. You saw Hunter running the floor early on here, but still, he's got a new attitude. Well. Yep. Got a new attitude. He's running the floor. I mean, that's, take advantage of your God-given abilities, and, and that's what he's doing. Overall, he's got he's got a pretty good jump quarter this year for the 76. Oh. Joseph checks in. Palmy. Drew Good, the offensive foul. He was posting Joe Smith. And he was poised to heave it down, had it stripped. Three to shoot and 21.3 to go here in the second quarter. 2.7 for the Sixers. And after the personal foul. Personal on Ilgauskas. He fouled by Andre Iguodala, and Joe Smith will head to the line for the fourth and fifth times in this game. It's a pass. That's a heck of a pass, isn't it? Watch this. Drive it behind the back. Outstanding play by the 76ers. And once again, those passes better get there. That's a great-looking pass. See those. Well, the, the one thing about that pass is, because it's a bounce pass, it's going to come up higher than waist high for Joe Smith to catch it. So it's not just a behind the back four, so it's going to slow down a little bit. That's an outstanding play. I mentioned Andre Iguodala will go to the line for the 10th and 11th times in the... Andre Iguodala, who was 7th in the NBA in minutes, average for that smaller lineup. No Cheeks trying to match up better with the Cavaliers. Andre Iguodala. Iguodala wants Wesley, and why not? He's got him by about five inches. Got it. All cotton for Andre, who has 19 points, tying him with Gooden for game-high score. Need a rebound. It's Miller. Ties his career high. Wow! Oh, nearly a tremendous finish by Iguodala. First of all, the heave from Miller. Had Andre thrown that down, it would have been a beaut. That's a heck of a pass, isn't it? A little bit behind him. But there's Samuel Dallenbear running the floor, saying, you know what, if it's a miss, I'm going to be right there for the offensive board, using his speed and quickness. Now David Wesley. Well, it's not going to cost him. That's the team's fourth. Trying to lob it up there for... For Andre, couldn't quite do it. Not a great pass. That's one you bring out. You need the possession there. You, you need to get a clean look. So Iga need to stop Corver. Interrupting Hughes. Here come the Sixers. Igadala lays go. it in, and the Sixers lead by one. Time now for the Dodge drive of the game. Off the steal, Miller to Carney, over to Iguodala. Four on two opportunity. Andre Iguodala gets the bucket. And the very next possession, the Cleveland Cavaliers, the last one. 
hurt the 76ers right there with one 18 shooter. So he does have the ability to go one for two, like everybody else on the Cavs team. They Cavs only have th 